Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Say the charge is terminated. And I can cut my ankle monitor. Yes, Let me get that monitor. Check it, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Check it. It's your boy, ECEO, man. Boss Talk 101. Tapping in this morning, man. Very excited about Boosie Boo, man. You know, he had to do what he had to do, man. He had to be, uh, you know, they had to let him go. They dropped these federal charges. I'm very excited about it. I already knew it wasn't going to stick. Hey, if it don't fit, you must have quit, man. The brother just trying to take care of his business, man. As a brother out here trying to do what he do after he done went through what he went through and they still trying to hold it against him y'all add all that up you know what i'm saying carry the one but at the end of the day man shout out to boosie man much respect congratulations man i knew from the day when they said it you know a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say i was one of those guys look i'm not rocking with nothing that going against boosie boo y'all don't even have don't even call me with that you can't even call boss talk 101 with nothing rock against boosie boo that's my boy uh, he's a stand-up family guy that takes care of his kids. You know what I'm saying? Even though him and the mother might have not made it, he looked like me. I met the dude a few times, man. The dude, a dope dude. Yeah, I've been in the room with him. His energy don't change. Stomp down. You know what I'm saying? When you really, really been around things, you know, man. And that's uh, shout out to Boosie. You know, Pimp C pretty much chose him early on because at the end of the day, he was a real stomp down player when he met him little old young so that he knew he had potential. Him and that boy Webby. So I was with Webby a few, about a few weeks ago. Shout out to Webby as well. But in the South, man, you know, we ain't going, man. Like I said, this man got to protect himself. You, you, they tell you because you got a felony on your back, you can't carry a weapon. But man, when you ride around these streets, man, these dudes out here look at you as a target. So they definitely have been scoping him, you know, uh, all the time. He's been through so much. That video shoot, he, in that, he out there in California. He don't know what them folks got going on out there. And so he had to try to figure out ways to stay, you know, make sure he come home alive. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather, you know, be here than, the, you know, how they say I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. So I'm not trying to hear that, man. Boosie, one of them ones, man. Like I said, I'm not trying to hear nothing when it come down to what Boosie Boo go through because I know the boy done faced all this time. He done beat the charges on a, a, a death row sentence. You know, the boy, you know, like I said, he been through a lot. Most of the brothers, man, been done went through a lot. Ignored the music was doper than a lot of the people that he was rocking with. They ignored him because of his demographic. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want to hear me say that, but that's a real situation. Uh, I love the way he stand up for the South. You know I'm real. He know why he do it. He know he got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, he, he, he goes, he represents the South correctly when he go on the East Coast. When he go on the West Coast, he coming back and people still recognize him. He from BR. But at the end of the day, the boy real, real, real stumped down. It's a lot of niggas that can't really say that they on a level like him, you know, when it come down to the way he carry himself, you know. So just to see Boosie celebrating, I'm celebrating with him. We we celebrate with Boosie over here at Boss Talk 101, man. Um, hey, free Money Moses. Money Moses, man, I know you. he locked up right now. But at the end of the day, he one of those ones that, listen, he loved Boosie. Boosie was rocking with Mo3 and Webby and them his top three. So at the end of the day, uh, Money Moses say uh, they ain't going from and straight up from the penitentiary. So at the end of the day, man, look, man, y'all got to feel me on this, man. Uh, Money Moses, free Money Moses is the message we, we got to put out there. Uh, yeah, um, like I said, um, you guys got to like, subscribe to the channel, too. 
the memberships and all that stuff is, is, is really, really serious when you share the share, share our videos as well, because a lot of times y'all don't see the videos. They don't share them. They've been sharing them more lately because I, that's why I started doing these uh, reviews and stuff, because it's like we got to find a way to get more information out there to y'all. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed the view, you know, the uh, reviews that we're doing. Um, you're going to see more also on my B channel, which is a Boss Talk 101 prime time coming from Miss Jamaica and other sources. So you guys be on the lookout for that. But back to my boy Boosie, man. Let's think about this for a minute. Boosie been through a lot. Boosie had been shot. Uh, Boosie been locked up. Boosie has diabetes and all kind of stuff he fight and represent. Boosie still maintain his whole persona when it come down to going and taking care of business with his fans. Boosie is continuing to work even though he was going through all that stuff. He never stopped. He never stopped from the day before he was locked up. I heard stories with DeRoe Music and all kind of people that talked about working with Boosie Savage and everybody like we worked with Boosie before. And just his work ethic, man, you got to commend him just for that. His work ethic is totally on another level, on another high. You know, you see a lot of people come at him for being a stand up guy believing in what he believes in, whether it be being a, a man that take care of his kids, that want the best for his kids. You can't deny he been there with his kids. You never hear people talk about that. You never hear people talk about him. You never hear him talk about the way he take care of his kids, the way they always been with him. When they had their fallouts, y'all seen it before everything. And he still stood in the gap. Boosie, the number one Hey, man, listen, father, when it come down to uh, going through all that and then coming back home and pulling his family together again. Y'all ever thought about that? To leave the kids like he did for a few years and then have to come back? I can speak on that and pull your family back together because other people being putting stuff in their ears and talking crazy and saying stuff and trying to figure out ways to, to, you know, to make you look like you're not worthy as a father. Then you come back. And you dang, pull it back together and now you you standing up for standing on business to try to make sure that they taken care of man And I think that's commendable. You gotta rock with Boosie just on that aspect Even if you don't like his music man, just the fact he's standing on being a stand-up man but, but, Hey, li listen He speak on different things that everybody else fear speaking on like I said, I'm not really playing about Boosie. So at the end of the day, you got to feel me, Boosie. Hey, man, listen, congratulations on get off, getting off that monitor. Hey, congratulations on the federal gun charges being dropped. Congratulations on beating a uh, 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 death row uh, sentence. Congratulations on coming home and being in that prison system. Uh, congratulations on getting shot uh, and, and then still coming through. Congratulations on all the stuff that you had to go through and you still here, man. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Keep on pushing. It's your boy, ECO, Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.